Franklin arrived at the Tech Vision reception 10 minutes early, as he always did. He took a deep breath, straightened the jacket his mother had insisted he wear despite the warm day, and handed his documents to the receptionist, who gave him a quick, indifferent nod. Franklin had worked hard for this moment. He had an impeccable resume in hand, a degree in software engineering, award-winning projects, and several specialization courses that set him apart. But as the minutes passed, he felt the weight of the environment, the silence in the reception area, the furtive glances from the secretary, as if he didn't belong there. Something fell off. Finally, he was called in for the interview. As he entered the room, he was greeted by Daniel, the HR manager. Daniel was a middle-aged man with a stern expression and eyes that seemed to judge Franklin from head to toe, as if he had already decided the outcome before any words were exchanged. His gaze lingered for a moment on Franklin's hands, which were holding his resume firmly, then slowly moved up to his face, clearly conveying disdain. Take a seat, Daniel said curtly, gesturing to a chair across the desk. Franklin sat down, trying to maintain his composure. Daniel picked up Franklin's resume, but he did so carelessly, almost disinterestedly, letting the papers fall onto the desk. He began skimming through them, but the look on his face was one of boredom, as if reviewing the document was a mere formality. After a few moments of awkward silence, Daniel finally spoke. So Franklin, he pronounced the name slowly, as though it were foreign to him. You've got a decent resume, considering where you're coming from. Franklin swallowed hard. The insinuation was clear, but he stayed composed. Thank you, sir. I've worked hard to get here, Franklin replied, trying to conceal his irritation. Daniel nodded, but his gaze remained distant, as though he had already made up his mind. You really think you're qualified for a position like this at Tech Vision? Daniel asked with a barely noticeable smirk. Franklin felt his stomach churn. What was Daniel implying? Yes, I believe my qualifications and experience have prepared me for this role, and I'm confident I can significantly contribute to the company. Franklin responded with as much firmness as he could muster. Daniel threw another disdainful glance at Franklin's resume before tossing the papers onto the desk. Let's see, Daniel said. Daniel stood up slowly, circling the desk until he was standing beside Franklin, as if trying to intimidate him. You know, Franklin, we get a lot of candidates for this job, people with different backgrounds. It'll be hard for someone like you to stand out here. Maybe you should consider other options. Franklin looked at the floor for a moment, fighting to keep his composure. He felt the sting of humiliation, but refused to let Daniel see him falter. Thank you for your time, sir, Franklin said, rising from his seat, but I'll continue to pursue the position I deserve. One day, you'll see what I'm capable of. Daniel gave a short, almost inaudible laugh as he looked at Franklin with disdain. Good luck with that. Franklin left the room with steady steps, but inside, something had changed. He wouldn't let that humiliation define him. Right then and there, he decided to use every word Daniel had said as fuel. One day, he would prove his worth and the world would know his name. Franklin had always known life wouldn't be easy. Growing up in a humble neighborhood on the outskirts of Atlanta, he learned early on that to achieve his dreams, he would have to work harder than most. The house he shared with his mother, Florence, was modest but filled with love and determination. Florence, a single mother, worked as a janitor at a local hospital. Despite their financial struggles, she made sure Franklin never lacked anything essential and always encouraged him to study, knowing that education was the key to a better future. From a young age, Franklin was curious. He loved taking things apart to understand how they worked, spending hours trying to put them back together. Florence watched this with pride but also with a sigh of worry knowing how the world could be harsh to a young black man with big dreams. Franklin, you have to work twice as hard as anyone else, she would say, her voice filled with wisdom. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you're not capable. These words stayed with Franklin, who took his studies very seriously. In school, he was always one of the top students, and as the years passed, his dedication only grew. In high school, he had his first encounter with computers and quickly became fascinated by how these machines could be manipulated through code. His science teacher, Mr. Davis, noticed the spark in Franklin's eyes. Franklin, 
I've got something to show you, Mr. Davis said one day after class, leading him to the school's computer lab. The lab wasn't anything fancy. There were only a few computers, most of them quite outdated, but to Franklin, it was a treasure trove. Here, you can learn to program. It's like learning a new language, one that these machines understand. I'm sure you'll do well, Mr. Davis encouraged. Franklin couldn't wait to get started. He spent the following weeks immersed in books and computers, learning everything he could about programming languages. His enthusiasm caught the attention of other teachers and students, and soon he was helping classmates with their computer problems, even though he was still just a beginner. But not everything was smooth sailing. Despite the support from some teachers, Franklin faced prejudice from other students and even a few educators. Comments like he won't be able to handle it or this isn't something for him were common. But Franklin never let those voices diminish his will to learn. Mom, I want to do something big, something that makes a difference for people like us. Franklin said one evening during dinner as Florence looked at him with tenderness. And you will, my son, you will, she replied with unshakable confidence. That certainty in Franklin's potential stayed with him all the way to college, where he earned a full scholarship. It was a moment of great pride for Florence, who saw in that achievement the result of years of effort and dedication. College was a new world, full of opportunities, but also challenges. There, Franklin continued to face skeptical looks and prejudiced comments, but he also found allies. Among them was Harry, a classmate who quickly became a close friend and collaborator. Harry also came from a poor neighborhood and understood the weight of expectations and the difficulties they both faced. Franklin, this app you're working on has the potential to be something revolutionary, Harry said one night as they discussed Franklin's ideas. The app in question was something Franklin had been planning since high school. He wanted to create a platform that would allow people in underserved communities to exchange services and goods without the need for money, something that could make life easier for many. The idea is to connect people in the community, allowing them to offer services in exchange for others without having to spend money they often don't have. Franklin explained while Harry looked at the code on the computer. This could help a lot of people, Franklin, but we need more resources, maybe some investment to scale this up, Harry said enthusiastically. Together, they started working on the project with more intensity, perfecting the idea and finding ways to make it viable on a larger scale. They entered startup competitions, presented the project at tech fairs, and gradually began to gain recognition. One day, during one of these competitions, Franklin and Harry were approached by an investor interested in learning more about the project. Franklin presented the idea with passion, emphasizing the importance of creating something that could really make a difference for marginalized communities. You've got something special here, the investor said. But to grow, you need more visibility, maybe a partnership with a major company. That's when Tech Vision's name started coming up more frequently in their conversations. The company was known for its technological innovations and its ability to turn good ideas into big business. Franklin knew that if he could get a job there, he could take his project to the next level. Harry was the first to suggest that Franklin apply for a position at Tech Vision. You've got everything they're looking for, Franklin. And more than that, you have the vision of what it takes to grow this project. Don't miss this chance. Harry encouraged Franklin and Franklin spent weeks preparing for the interview. He reviewed every detail of his resume, practiced answers to possible questions, and studied everything he could about the company. He knew tech vision was the key to turning his dream into reality. Florence, always supportive, helped him pick the right outfit for the big day. I know you're going to get it, my son. Remember who you are and what you've overcome. No one can take that away from you, she said with a proud smile. On the day of the interview, Franklin woke up early feeling a mix of anxiety and determination. He looked in the mirror and remembered his mother's and Mr. Davis's words. He knew he was ready. He put on the jacket his mother had bought with such care and headed to Tech Vision. When he arrived at the reception, Franklin was greeted with a certain coldness. The receptionist didn't seem interested in who he was, only in checking if the documents were correct. Sitting in the waiting room, he noticed that the other candidates looked different. Many of them were dressed in designer clothes and talked with a confidence that bordered on arrogance. Franklin, on the other hand, remained quiet, focused on his mission. Finally, he was called in for the interview. 
As he entered the room, he was greeted by Daniel, the HR manager. The middle-aged man had a cold expression in eyes that seemed to judge Franklin before he even spoke a word. Franklin felt the weight of the environment. The room was spacious, with modern furniture and glass walls that offered an impressive view of the city. But at that moment, all Franklin could feel was the growing tension. Take a seat, Daniel said, his tone devoid of any warmth. Franklin sat down, trying to stay calm. Over the years, he had learned to handle adverse situations, to endure looks of disdain and hurtful comments. But something about Daniel's demeanor made him uneasy. There was an indifference in the manager's eyes, as if he had already decided that Franklin wasn't fit for the position. Let's see what we got here, Daniel said, grabbing Franklin's resume with a careless hand, as if the paper was just a formality. He skimmed through it without showing any emotion. So Franklin, you've got a decent resume, considering the circumstances. I imagine you've worked really hard to get here, haven't you? Daniel said, his words dripping with condescension. Yes, sir, I've worked hard to reach my goals, and I believe I'm prepared for this position. Franklin replied, his voice firm but controlled. Yeah, I can see you've put in the effort, Daniel continued, not even bothering to look up from the resume. But Tech Vision is an elite company. We look for the best of the best, people who fit our culture, our philosophy, Daniel said, choosing his words carefully. You may have some interesting credentials, but, he paused, looking Franklin directly in the eyes. Do you really have the profile to work here? Franklin felt his stomach churn, but he kept his composure. He knew Daniel was testing him, trying to throw him off balance. I believe my experience and my ideas can bring great value to Tech Vision. I'm confident I can contribute significantly to the company's growth. Franklin responded, trying to maintain his confidence. Daniel raised an eyebrow, his gaze still cold. Growth, huh? What kind of growth do you think you could bring? Daniel asked, his tone bordering on sarcasm. I mean, you come from a reality completely different from ours. Do you really think you understand what it takes to thrive here? Franklin felt his heart tighten, but he didn't let it show. Sir, I believe that diversity of experiences and perspectives is essential for innovation. My background, though different, has given me a unique perspective that can be very valuable to the company, he replied firmly. Daniel let out an exaggerated sigh and leaned back in his chair, crossing his arms. Diversity, of course. It's a popular topic these days, isn't it? He smiled, but the smile didn't reach his eyes. But honestly, Franklin, don't you think you're dreaming a little too big? I mean, looking at your history, you've done well considering your circumstances. But Tech Vision is an elite company. Don't you think you're trying to reach for something that's a bit out of your league? Franklin felt his blood boil, but he didn't let it show. With all due respect, sir, I believe I'm prepared for this opportunity. My skills and determination are my greatest assets, and I'm ready to face any challenge this position may offer. Daniel slowly got up and walked around the desk until he was standing beside Franklin, as if trying to intimidate him. You know, Franklin, we get a lot of candidates for this position. Many of them have more aligned experiences. It will be hard for someone like you. He emphasized the last words, leaving no doubt about what he really thought, to stand out in this environment. The competition here is fierce, and we need people who fit our profile. Maybe you should consider other options something that's more within your reach. Franklin looked at the floor for a moment, struggling to stay calm. The humiliation was almost unbearable, but he refused to give Daniel the satisfaction of seeing him falter. Thank you for your time, sir, Franklin said, standing up, but I'll continue to pursue the position I deserve. One day, you'll see what I'm capable of. Daniel gave a short, disdainful laugh as he looked at Franklin with contempt. Good luck with that, Franklin. People like you really do need luck. Franklin left the room with steady steps, feeling the weight of the humiliation, but also a renewed determination. He knew that this was not the end of his journey. In fact, it was only the beginning. The days following the Tech Vision interview were tough for Franklin. He couldn't shake Daniel's words from his mind, the disdain in the manager's voice, the way he had been treated. The humiliation weighed on him, but more than that, the rejection sparked a new kind of determination. Franklin decided that no matter what, he wouldn't let that experience define him. He returned to working on his project with even greater fervor, refining his app, 
adding new features and perfecting the design. Harry, always by his side, encouraged him to keep pushing forward. Franklin, what happened at Tech Vision was an injustice. You're more than capable, and they missed out on someone incredible. But that doesn't mean your path is over, Harry said as they discussed new strategies for the app. I know Harry, but that experience made me realize the road is going to be even tougher than I thought. But I won't give up. I'll make this project grow one way or another, Franklin replied with renewed determination. It was during this period, while Franklin was working tirelessly, that fate decided to take an unexpected turn. On a sunny Saturday morning, Franklin decided to take some time for himself. The week had been intense, and he needed to clear his mind. He grabbed his bike and headed to the local park, a place he often went to think and recharge. The park was a peaceful refuge with tall trees and trails that wound through the woods. Franklin was calmly pedaling down one of those trails when he noticed an older man, dressed casually, sitting on a wooden bench, looking out at the horizon. There was something familiar about him, but Franklin couldn't quite place it. As he got closer, he saw that the man seemed to be struggling with a mechanical issue on his bike. It was an old bike, but well-maintained, except for a chain that had come off. Need a hand? Franklin asked, stopping next to the man. The man looked up and smiled, a grateful smile that immediately made Franklin feel a connection to him. I'd appreciate it, if you don't mind. It seems my old bike decided to act up today, the man said with a light laugh. Franklin got off his bike and knelt beside the man's. Within a few minutes, he had adjusted the chain and ensured everything was in order. The man watched curiously as Franklin worked, noticing the skill and care with which he handled the problem. There you go, all set now. Just be careful not to put too much strain on the chain going to fill, Franklin said, standing up and wiping his hands on his pants. Thank you very much, young man. I used to be good with these things, but it seems I've lost my touch over time, the man said, standing up and extending his hand. I'm Arthur. Franklin, nice to meet you, Franklin replied, shaking his hand. Arthur looked at Franklin for a moment, as if trying to recall something, then his eyes widened slightly. Wait, weren't you at Tech Vision recently? Arthur asked with a hint of surprise. Franklin was taken aback by the question. He hadn't expected anyone to recognize him, especially outside of a professional setting. Yes, I was there for a job interview, Franklin responded hesitantly. Arthur nodded, as if confirming an internal suspicion. And how was your experience? Arthur asked with genuine interest. Franklin hesitated for a moment, unsure of how to respond. He didn't want to sound bitter, but he also couldn't lie about what had happened. It was a difficult experience. I wasn't well received, to be honest, Franklin finally said. But it gave me more determination to push forward with my own projects. Arthur observed Franklin for a moment, considering his words. You know, Franklin, I'm the founder and CEO of Tech Vision, Arthur revealed, his tone calm. I'm not very involved in the day-to-day -day interviews and hiring but I like to know the people who want to be part of our team. Franklin felt his heart race. He hadn't expected this man to be Arthur Brooks, a near legendary figure in the tech world. I had no idea. Franklin began, struggling to find the right words. Sir, I. Please, no need for formalities. Call me Arthur. The CEO interrupted with a smile. Arthur, I. I'm sorry if my words were disrespectful. I really admire Tech Vision and the work you do there. It's just that my experience during the interview wasn't what I expected, Franklin said, feeling slightly more at ease but still aware of the situation. Arthur nodded, listening attentively. I understand. May I ask what happened exactly? Arthur questioned, his tone now more serious. Franklin took a deep breath and recounted the interview, how Daniel had treated him with disdain and prejudice underestimating his skills and qualifications. He spoke about how disrespected he felt and how the experience almost made him give up. Arthur listened in silence, his face impassive, but his eyes fixed on Franklin, paying close attention to every detail. After a moment of silence, Arthur finally spoke. That's unacceptable. No one should be treated that way, especially in a company that prides itself on being innovative and inclusive. I apologize for that, Franklin. I can't undo what happened, but I can try to correct the mistake. Franklin looked at Arthur, 
surprised by the sincerity in his words. I wasn't expecting that, Arthur. Honestly, after the interview, I decided it might be better to move on with my own project and not worry so much about finding a job at a big company, Franklin said with honesty. And what's your project? Arthur asked, intrigued. Franklin hesitated for a moment but decided he had nothing to lose. He told Arthur about the app he had developed, about how it had the potential to help underserved communities connect and exchange services without the need for money. He spoke about his ideas for expanding the project and the improvements he had in mind. He wanted to implement his ideas and believed they could make a real difference for many people. Arthur listened with growing interest, his eyes shining with the passion of someone who recognizes a good idea when they see one. Franklin, this is brilliant. You're talking about something that could really impact the lives of millions of people. And you did all this on your own, Arthur asked, impressed. I had help from some friends, but most of the coding and ideas came from me, Franklin replied, feeling a mix of pride and humility. Arthur was thoughtful for a moment, as if considering something. Franklin, I want to see this in action. If what you're saying is true, your project has enormous potential, and I want to help you make it happen, Arthur said with a smile. Franklin could hardly believe what he was hearing. You want to help me? Franklin asked, almost incredulous. Yes, I want you to come to Tech Vision on Monday. I'll arrange a meeting with the development team, and you'll present your idea to them. If all goes well, we can discuss how to integrate your project into our portfolio, or even launch it as a new line of products from Tech Vision. What do you say? Arthur offered, extending his hand. Franklin felt a surge of emotions. The opportunity he had longed for was right in front of him, offered in the most unexpected way. He looked at Arthur's outstretched hand and shook it firmly. I accept. Thank you so much for this opportunity, Arthur. I promise I won't let you down, Franklin said, his voice full of determination. I know you won't, Franklin. I see something special in you. Now let's see what you're capable of, Arthur replied with a confident smile. As Franklin pedaled back home, he felt as if a huge weight had been lifted off his shoulders. The chance meeting with Arthur had not only reopened the door to tech vision for him, but also reignited a new fire in his heart. He knew this was his chance to show the world what he was really capable of, and he wouldn't let anything or anyone stop him from achieving his dreams. Franklin never imagined that his life would change so drastically in such a short time. Since that fateful interview with Daniel, things had taken an unexpected turn. And now he found himself at the helm of one of Tech Vision's most important divisions, leading the company's technological innovation. Every day was filled with challenges, but also with opportunities that he embraced with enthusiasm and dedication. Under Franklin's leadership, the innovation department transformed into a powerhouse of creative and disruptive ideas. He encouraged his team to think outside the box, to challenge the status quo, and to seek solutions that truly impacted people. The app he had developed, initially designed for underserved communities, was now being used on a global scale, helping millions of people worldwide. The success of the project didn't go unnoticed. Franklin's name began circulating in the media, and he was invited to speak at technology conferences where he shared his journey and vision for the future of social innovation. He became a symbol of perseverance, and his story inspired young people across the country. Like him, others faced daily challenges in their lives, but despite all the fame and recognition, Franklin never forgot his roots. He continued to live in Atlanta, close to where he had grown up, and frequently visited the community where his mother, Florence, still lived. She had always been his biggest support, and Franklin made sure to repay all the love and dedication she had given him over the years. On a sunny Saturday, Franklin decided to organize a special event at his old school. He wanted to give back to those who had believed in him from the beginning, like Mr. Davis, the teacher who had introduced him to programming and had been a crucial figure in his journey. I'm so proud of you, son, Florence said as they prepared to leave the house for the event. You never let the difficulty stop you from reaching your dreams. Franklin smiled, hugging his mother warmly. Everything I am, I'd owe to you, mom. You taught me to never give up. And that's the greatest lesson anyone can have in life, he replied, full of gratitude. When they arrived at the school, Franklin was greeted with enthusiasm by the students and teachers. 
He had organized a talk where he would share his journey, but what no one expected was the surprise he had prepared. At the end of this speech, he announced the donation of a fully equipped computer lab to the school, a gesture that moved everyone present. This school is where it all started for me. It was here that I discovered my passion for technology, and I want to make sure other young people have the same opportunity I had, Franklin said as the audience gave him a standing ovation. Among the faces in the crowd, Franklin saw Mr. Davis, his eyes filled with pride. After the event, Franklin approached him and hugged him tightly. Mr. Davis, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here today. You believed in me when few did, and that made all the difference, Franklin said, emotional. Franklin, you always had a special spark. All I did was point the way, but you walked every step with determination. I'm so proud to see how far you've come. Mr. Davis replied with a warm smile. That day was a milestone in Franklin's life. He realized that success wasn't just about achieving great things, but also about giving back and positively impacting the lives of those around you. And that's exactly what he continued to do in the years that followed. At Tech Vision, Franklin led several other innovative projects, all focused on creating technologies that could improve people's lives, especially the most vulnerable. He established mentorship programs for young people from underserved communities, offering them learning and development opportunities in technology. Many of these young people went on to work at Tech Vision, bringing new perspectives and further enriching the company's culture. Arthur, who had believed in Franklin from the start, continued to support him in all his initiatives. The two developed a relationship of deep trust and mutual respect. Arthur often said that Franklin had renewed his own enthusiasm for innovation and the pursuit of positive social impact. Franklin, you've brought a new purpose to Tech Vision. What we're doing here is more than just business. We're changing lives, and that's something I'll always be grateful to you for, Arthur said during a dinner celebrating the success of one of Franklin's projects. And I'll always be grateful to you, Arthur, for giving me a chance, Franklin replied. With a sincere smile, Franklin's name gradually became synonymous with innovation with purpose. He was recognized by various organizations and received awards for his work, but he always remained grounded, remembering his roots and the true reason he did what he did. His mother, Florence, now lived in a more comfortable home, but she never wanted to move away from the neighborhood where she had raised Franklin. She became a respected figure in the community, known as the mother of the tech genius. Franklin visited her whenever he could, and the two continued to share an unbreakable bond. One of the most emotional moments of his life came when Franklin was invited to receive an award for his contribution to society during a gala ceremony in New York. As he stepped onto the stage, he made sure to bring his mother with him. This award is dedicated to my mother, who taught me that hard work and perseverance can take you anywhere. Everything I've achieved, I've achieved because of her. Thank you, Mom, for never giving up on me, Franklin said emotionally as the audience gave him a standing ovation. Florence, tears in her eyes, simply smiled and hugged him, proud of the man her son had become. Franklin continued to grow both professionally and personally. He became one of the most respected executives in the industry. But above all, he became a leader who inspired those around him to be better, to never give up, and to always strive for positive impact in the world. Looking back, Franklin knew that every challenge he had faced had prepared him for that moment. The rejection, the prejudice, the humiliation, all of it had shaped his determination and his drive to make a difference. And now, with a brilliant career and a legacy in the making, he was exactly where he was always meant to be. Franklin's journey, which began in a humble neighborhood and led him to the top of one of the world's largest tech companies, became living proof that with determination, talent, and a little bit of luck, it's possible to overcome any obstacle and achieve great things.